everybody I'm just doing a little bit of uh, wax resist on these pots I've got here these are little um, little you know me uh, you've seen me throwing these before uh, it's got some um, cobalt brushwork on them a variety of different little circles swirls uh, little uh, leaf decorations and some dots and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wax resist over these to give a checker pattern because I'm going to dip them uh, tomorrow when they're dry. I'm going to dip them um, in some in a khaki um, glaze. So let's just discard. I've not done this before, so I'm just experimenting as I go. And I think it's it's a question of uh, getting a, a quick. Uh, brush stroke on it get most of it off the brush so it doesn't run and that's it so we're just using this is a, a water-based wax resist when it comes in the uh, tub it's pretty thick you have to let it down a little bit with uh, with water so that's the top done at equidistance all the way around easily done you just do one side then the opposite side then bisect it one and then the opposite side so it's not difficult to uh, to get them spaced out evenly and let me just do the bottom ones obviously the bottom ones are done alternately to the top To pay attention to the corners of these and make sure that it gets covered. And that's that one done. So that one's got a wax resist, and then we'll dip it. I'll show you in a bit. Um, I'll ref I'll film it tomorrow, but it'll be in a couple of seconds to you. Um, the um, <coughs> excuse me, dipping this in the khaki glaze. We have to make sure that this is dry because this is water based. If you dip it in before it's bone dry, um, the glaze sticks to the water on this, and you just then you have to start wiping it with a brush, and it's a nightmare. So uh, I'll just do one more quickly, and then uh, I'll show you the dipping uh, part immediately after. Uh, these some of these will be going on the the Etsy shop I've got now which is going quite well there'll be a link to the Etsy shop in the description and below okay. turn it round wipe it off difficult doing it for you and then also for me <laughs> so I know what I'm doing so I'm hoping I've got this in shot right we'll leave it there I'll we'll finish these two off in a second and then we'll get on to the glaze dipping right as promised I'm just uh, if you can see me it's best to see what I'm doing rather than seeing me as promised I'm just um, gonna show you how I do these uh, dipping these pots it's khaki glaze mixed up red temaku um, it, it might be a bit too thick I'm not sure but we'll see um, I'll just do a, a couple for you it's already been glazed once uh, decoration put on wax as I showed you earlier and it's just a question of uh, mixing the glaze pressing it in just for a couple of seconds and taking it out we'll let it dry a little bit just dip it to the corner and it gives a natural edge to the squares. Just wait for it to dry a little bit. If you turn it up too soon they tend to run down and you get dribbles and you can never get them off. If you With iron oxide, if you, even if you wipe the dribble off you still get a mark, a stain and I don't want that. So there's the pot. Quite simple, you get a nice little rim on the inside because the air traps and doesn't go inside. 
So we get a nice rim on the inside and a um, nice edge to it. Sometimes it dribbles inside, but it doesn't matter. I quite like the little bit of uh, haphazardness about it all. I'll do one more if I can get this put down. I normally do this on the um, on the bench where there's more room, but the camera setup is for the wheel, so we're doing it from this side here. So I'll just do one more. Stir it, make sure it's not sunk to the bottom. I'll put, um, uh, what is it, Cal uh, calcium chloride, calcium, yeah, calcium chloride, I think it is anyway, just to deflocculate it so that the, uh, the glaze doesn't sink too quickly. Some of them sink like a stone once you stop stirring them. It's a deflocculant anyway. Just put a little tiny bit in it, the size of your fingernail, and it um, it keeps it suspended better. So there's another one. Turning out quite nice. Get to see the effect we're going to try and get in the firing. This is a lower fired glaze than I normally use. Uh, I'll just show you one dip. The last one dipping actually in the in the pot itself. Nice rich iron red already. So we'll just do the last one. I'm ambidextrous, luckily, so I can do dip with my left hand and film with the right. So there we are. We're just dipping it in up to the shoulder, back out. Quick shake, and you'll see it disappear off the off the uh, the wax. That was quite good the way that that went then. Little tiny extra bits that you see there, I'll just use a tiny sponge and just lift those off when it's bone dry. Don't mess with it now. Okay. So there it is. Celadon under Temaku with some cobalt blue design. Let's see how they come out. There will be photographs on YouTube and uh, Facebook.